Welcome to video 71 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to set up a ragdoll for the enemy. Okay, since we set up the golem and it's in a T-pose, it's actually really easy to make a ragdoll. So we've got a game object, a 3D object, rag, ragdoll. So this menu here. Now if you mess up while you're making it, uh, then I do recommend that you just start again. Just drop, delete that one, drop in a new one and start over. Okay, now you've got to assign the relevant bones, so pelvis, pelvis, this one just matches up nicely. Uh, left hip, well in this case it's actually left thigh, so drag that in. Uh, left calf will be the left knee. So you can see that if you look in the model where uh, these bones are, you can then tell uh, which ones you're supposed to use. Well that's how you, that's how you know. So right hip, oh and I forgot the foot, so left foot, drag that in. And I get the right calf, which will be the right knee. I uh, get the right foot, which would be the right foot. So of course this depends purely on a model. Every model uh, that you might make, well, if you have, a, if you follow the mechanism system, then all just match up nicely. But if you're importing models from other places, uh, then you'll need to figure out what to slot in where. Uh, okay, so continuing on, a left upper arm will be left arm, left forearm will be a left elbow. And if I go to the right arm, so right upper arm will be the right arm. And right forearm is the right elbow. Uh, the middle spine, I'll put that as spine three. There we go, spine three. And the head, well, that is there, which is good. I'll say, I'll change the total mass to like 150 units. And strength, I'll put that, I can't actually remember what strength was. Alright, so I'll just put it anyway to 50. Now it's asking as well, flip forward, so if the direction of the model, so if I click back here, is different, like the blue is the axis is not the uh, forward axis, which it is in this case, then it may need a flip forward, something like that, so that it's all lined up, everything is lined up in the correct direction. Uh, and it's in fact telling us to do that right here. Uh, in our case, it's all good. This model has been made very well, and it's uh, set up very well as well. So even years later, you're using it, and it works perfect. Okay, so let me just hit Create. Done. It's already done for us. And in fact, we have a uh, functioning ragdoll. So now you just have a look check that the capsule colliders are all correct. So if you didn't put it in a T-pose, then you'll find that some colliders are uh, infinitely small in size. You can actually set it up without the model in a T-pose. It just takes a little longer. It just takes just a bit more tedious. But when your model is in a T-pose, it's really nice and easy. Okay. Uh, how about I just hit play and see it collapse? There we go. So that's our model. And, uh, well, the ragdoll is in fact working nicely. So how about I hit restart? Just have a look at that again as it collapses. Yep, that's it. Perfect. Okay, so that much is done. But, well, actually, I'm going to be disabling uh, the ragdoll. Apart from the head of the character, I want to actually disable all the colliders and set the rigid bodies to is kinematic so that the ragdoll isn't in effect. I only want it to come into effect when the enemy dies. So I want it, I don't want these colliders bashing about and eating up CPU power and stuff. I'll have a hitbox uh, separately that will allow the enemy to smash through objects, but for this sort of stuff, it's, yeah, it's expensive to leave it alone. So let me go back here. Uh, for the rigid body set is kinematic, starting with the pelvis. I'll turn off the collider, you can see it go uh, dark green. Coming back now to the left thigh and left calf, right thigh. I'll just do all of these in one go at the same time. Set so is kinematic, turn off the collider. Come to the spine three, same thing. Set so is kinematic, turn off the collider. Come to the arm components, select them, multi-select. And uh, just turn on is kinematic, disable the collider. And uh, I believe that's it, actually. Uh, so that was quite fast. And I will leave the head alone. I won't uh, fool around with that. I'll leave that alone. And it'll also serve as a, um, a hitbox as well. So I'll have a, uh, later on in the another video, you'll set up a hitbox for just the general 
hit detection with your guns and then the head has its own collider which does more damage uh, because it's well because it's the head and you set it up accordingly you'll do that in uh, in a few videos from now okay so that should be it I believe I've got everything set up just make sure it's all set up correctly and hit apply and that should be good uh, so I should just find that the head I think wants to fall down that's about it is it okay oh in fact it's all all right nothing is trying to move which is just perfect yeah just the head moves when you hit it which is just fine because we're gonna have an animator on it soon and that'll take care of that for us okay that's it so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video